Start making your way onto your mat. So big toes touch, knees are wide. If that feels good tonight, to keep your knees a bit closer together. And then really just reaching your arms long in front of you. Just beginning to settle in here. Just taking this time to set aside what came earlier in your day. Set aside what will come later. Really just carving out this hour that we have together here tonight. Making time for yourself. Making time for your practice. Perhaps beginning to notice your breath here. Feeling the expansion of your ribs and your belly on the inhales. And then feeling the softening on the exhales. Again, feeling that expansion on your inhales. Making space on the exhale. Perhaps beginning to deepen your breath here. Taking a few more breaths here together. Inhaling, filling all the way up. Maybe holding your inhale at the top in your chest. And then exhale, letting it go. One more just like that, inhaling belly, ribs, and chest, expand. And exhale, letting it go. One more time, feeling everything expand on the inhale. And letting it go on the exhale. And as you're ready, making your way up into our tabletop position. So shoulders are stacked over wrists, hips stacked over knees. And just finding some gentle movement here. So just beginning to gently warm up your spine, maybe finding circles with your hips. Maybe looking over at your right toes, your left toes. No right or wrong way to do this, just beginning to find some gentle movement. And then coming back to that tabletop, taking your right hand and planting it under your nose, reaching the left arm up to the sky. Maybe finding some wrist circles here. Maybe arm circles opening up through your shoulder. And then sending that left arm high and then sending it under your right arm to thread the needle. So right, left cheek meets the mat. Hips stay high. And just coming back to your back here. Noticing how it feels different in this pose versus child's pose. Just beginning to get curious. We'll take another breath here on this side. And then coming back up, reaching that left arm high. And exhale, set it down. This time, left hand goes under nose, right arm reaches high. And again, just finding some movement here. Maybe it's those wrist circles, the arm circles. And sending that right arm high, this time right arm under left, thread the needle on the opposite side. So right cheek meets the ground. And then that left hand can be in front of you. Maybe you'll find a half bind here if that feels good. Breathing here. And 
and then coming back up again, right arm reaches high, and then exhale, back into our steady tabletop. We'll just spend a few rounds of cat and cow here. So inhale, dipping your belly, reaching chest and gaze forward. And then exhale, belly button to spine, really rounding up into cat. Inhale to cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to that steady tabletop, this time tucking your toes under, pushing back into downward dog. So our first down dog of the practice, really keeping that soft bend in your knees. Maybe pedaling through your feet here. Just beginning to warm up your hamstrings a bit. And then just checking in, you want your weight really pressed into your pointer finger and your thumb, and then shoulders are back and down away from your ears. And you need to find some stillness here. And take a big inhale together. And then exhale, let it go. One more inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And then exhale, gazing toward your hands and stepping into the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to shins. And the exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way to standing, arms reach tall, gazes up. And the exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. This time taking your feet mat with distance apart, we're just gonna find our rags out here. So just letting your head hang, maybe you grab opposite elbows, maybe you find that sway back and forth, side to side. Shake your head, yes, no. Just really letting your head hang here. We'll take another breath here in this fold, inhaling. And then exhale, letting go of any grip. Toe heel feet back to hip lift distance and inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms reach high, gazes up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, this time coming back to our tabletop. And we'll just find that cat and cow here again. So inhaling, dipping belly, reaching chest and gears forward. And exhale, the cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Coming back to that steady tabletop, toes tuck under, down with facing dog. Again, taking a breath here, inhaling, and exhale. One more inhale. And then exhale, gaze towards your hands again, travel top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way to standing, arms reach tall. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, this time coming into your high plank or taking that tabletop again, your choice. We'll take an inhale here, and then exhale, shifting forward, dropping knees, chest, chin, keeping elbows in tight. Inhale up to cobra, and exhale through tabletop, downward facing dog. Taking a breath here, inhale, and exhale. 
One more inhale. And exhale, look towards your hands again. Travel top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, hands to heart center. So adding on here. Taking a breath together, inhaling. And exhale. Inhale, arms reach high. This time, interlacing your fingers, flip your palms, and exhale, bend to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hand slant, this time moving through your flow. So maybe you take that high to low here. You drop to your knees again, tabletop, whatever transition you would like here. Meeting in downward facing dog. Taking a breath here together, inhaling. And exhale. Inhale, right leg reaches high. And exhale, step it through low lunge. So again, taking your time here, finding that low lunge. And then planting your left hand on the ground, reaching up with your right. So just finding this gentle twist here, maybe finding those wrist circles once more. Or arm circles. Again, this is your practice. So whatever, whatever feels good to you. Taking another breath here in this twist, inhaling. And then exhale, hands plant, maybe hopping that back foot up just a bit and inhale, high crescent lunge. So just taking a couple breaths in these poses here in our first time through our flow tonight. Just noticing how these feel in your body. Making any adjustments. Maybe sinking a bit deeper into your hips here. Taking a breath together, inhaling. And then exhale, twist to the right. So left arm goes forward, right arm back. Maybe finding that drishti point, focus point, non-moving focus point, helping with your balance here. We'll take another inhale here. And an exhale. Inhale, arms reach back, high, high crescent. And exhale, open up warrior two. So right knee is bent, left foot parallel to the back of your mat. Gaze over those right fingers. Again, making any adjustments here. Maybe you kind of float in and out of your warrior two here. Getting used to these poses tonight. Taking an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, right arm reaches high, reverse warrior. So left hand down that left leg or around your lower back. Feeling the stretch in your front side body. Inhaling and exhale. One more inhale. And then exhale, reach forward with the right hand, open up extended side angle. The left arm reaches up to the sky, really opening through your chest here. Being sure not to collapse into that right leg, but using your core. So not about collapsing all the way down, but using your core, finding this long line of energy from your head to your left toes. Taking another inhale here. And an exhale. And then inhale, reverse triangle. So right leg straightens, right arm reaches high. And then left hand on that left leg or lower back. Taking an inhale. And exhale, plant your hands moving through that flow. So again, maybe you take that high to low, chaturanga. Inhaling, cobra, or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
And take a breath here together, inhaling. And exhale. Inhale, left leg reaches high. And exhale, step it through again, coming into that low lunge. This time, right hand plants and left arm reaches high. And maybe finding those wrist circles or arm circles. Let's go on this. We'll take a breath here, inhaling. And exhale, releasing that hand, hopping the right foot up, and then inhaling, high crescent lunge. And just taking a couple breaths in each of these poses here, this first time through. Checking in with your shoulders, relaxing them away from your ears. Breathing here, inhaling. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, twist to the left, so right arm forward, left arm back. And maybe finding that drifty point, that non-moving point of focus. Inhaling. And exhale. Inhale, arms reach high. And exhale, pivot on that back foot, warrior two. So this time left knee bent, right foot parallel with the back of the mat. And finding that pose in your body tonight, seeing how that feels. Breathing here, inhaling. And exhale. Inhale, left arm reaches high, reverse warrior. Inhaling. Then exhale, reach forward, extended side angle. So right arm opens up. And opening up through the chest here. Inhaling here. And exhale. And then inhale, reverse triangle. So left leg straightens, left arm reaches high. Again, feeling that stretch down the front side of your body. And you one more inhale here. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands, taking your flow again, making it your own tonight. Inhaling up. Exhale, downward facing dog. And take a breath here together. Inhale. And exhale. And just moving into our moving meditation here. Moving one breath to one movement. Take one more inhale to prepare. And exhale. Inhale, right leg reaches high. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Inhale, arms reach high, high crescent. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, hands plant, taking that flow. Always the option to skip it, kneading and downward facing dog. If you're flowing, inhaling up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Making a breath here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, left leg reaches high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, hands plant, taking that flow. 
Inhaling up. Exhale down. And we're going to take three breaths here. So your choice. You can stay in downward facing dog or drop back down to child pose. Listening to what you need. But really taking this opportunity to come back to your breath. Whichever pose will allow you to most connect with your breath tonight. I'll take one more breath here. And if and when you're ready to come back to a slow meeting and downward facing dog, we'll take an inhale together and an exhale. Inhale, right leg reaches high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extend the tight angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, hands plant, taking that flow once more here. Inhale, in cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking a breath here, inhaling. And exhale. Inhale, left leg reaches high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, arms reach high, high crescent. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, reach, extend at side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, hands plant, taking that flow once more here, making it your own. Meeting in downward facing dog. Again, we'll take three resting breaths to your choice. Staying in downward facing dog or dropping the child's pose or any other resting pose. We'll take one more breath here. And then again, if and when you're ready, coming back, downward facing dog. We'll move through that flow one more time here tonight. So taking a big inhale to prepare. And exhale, let it go on the inside out your mouth this time. Inhale, right leg reaches high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale. Plant your hands, moving through your flow, or meeting and downward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Taking a breath here, inhaling. And exhale. One more side here, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. 
Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, twist to the right, left. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, hands plant once more, moving that through that flow. Inhaling up. Exhale down. And this time we'll take five resting breaths. So I invite you to drop to child's pose. And really using this opportunity to come back to your breath. Always finding this balance in our practice between the effort and the ease, the doing and the non-doing. We'll take two more breaths here. And then again, if and when you're ready, coming back down, we're taking that. We'll take an inhale together. And exhale, gaze towards your hands, step top of your mat. And this time, just reaching your arms forward, sinking down into your chair pose. This is if you're sitting in a chair, checking in that your weight's in your heels, maybe wiggling those toes. And take an inhale here. And exhale, twist to the right. So just finding this twist here again. Maybe notice the theme, doing a lot of twisting tonight. Taking a breath here, inhaling, and exhale. Inhale, arms back forward, and exhale, twist to the left. So right arm forward, left arm back. Breathing here, inhaling, and exhale. Inhale, arms forward, and exhale forward, but letting that go. So heel feet mat with distance again. Once more, finding that rag doll. Letting your head hang here. Well, if you'd like, finding gorilla pose, sliding the palms of your hands under the soles of your feet. And then really pressing your feet into your palms. Give your hands, your wrists a little massage here. May help you pull your head down a bit further. That's calling to you tonight. Take another breath here, whichever fold you're in. And if you found gorilla, taking the, your hands out from under your feet, toe healing feet back to hip lift distance, and we'll inhale halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms reach high, gazes up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms high, this time interlacing your fingers and exhale, bend to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands plant, taking that flow once more here. Inhaling up dog, exhale down dog. Taking a breath here, inhaling, and exhale. Inhale, right leg reaches high, and exhale, step it through low lunge. We're gonna change it up here, so hopping that left foot up, 
45 degree angle, we're coming into warrior one. So finding your footing here and then inhaling arms up high, warrior one. Making any adjustments, you want both of your hips pointing forward towards the top of your mat. It can be tricky to get into and feel good in your hips and knees. So making any tweaks here that you need. And once you find it, reaching your arms tall, coming back to your breath, inhaling, and exhale. One more inhale. And then exhale, hands come behind your back, interlacing your fingers, and then just pulling your hands down towards the ground, walking your gaze up maybe towards the ceiling. Finding a slight back bend here, heart opener. And breathing here, coming back to those full deep breaths. Feeling everything expand on the inhales. And soften on the exhales. One more inhale here. And then exhale, fold forward, humble warrior. So right shoulder comes to the inside of the right knee. And then just checking in with that right hip, it usually likes to swivel out a little bit, make some room. So just bringing it back to the center of your mat. Breathing here, letting your head hang. Inhaling. Hey everybody, I think we might have a technical difficulty. I think we maybe lost Aubrey's feed. I don't see her on our list anymore. So please bear with me. Um, hopefully she will realize that she's not on and pop back on with us. So hopefully this is just a moment, momentary thing. So in the meantime, I'm going to pause recording this. All right, so we are coming from that pyramid pose into a wide-legged forward fold. So just walking your toes or wherever you're at now, minus that interruption, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. And just again, letting your head hang here. You shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Imagining the stress of your day, just rolling off your shoulders, your head. And take another breath here. And then coming out of it just by walking your palms forward. So we're going to come into our runner's lunge. So right foot, toe heels out to the edge of your mat. The palms are plenty on the inside of that right foot. And then you can stay lifted if that feels good, bump on those left toes. Or you could drop your left knee, untuck your toes, coming into your steady runner's lunge here. And staying up on your palms, maybe dropping to an elbow, maybe dropping to the ground. And wherever you're at, really using your breath here, our hips can often bring up a lot. So being intentional about your breath, using it as a tool here. 
Breathing in any tension that you're feeling on the inhales. And then using the exhales to soften. We'll take two more breaths here. Inhaling. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. And then planting your hands, tucking those left toes under, coming back downward facing dog. And taking a paddle through your feet here, letting that go. And then we'll just move to the other side when you're ready. So inhaling left leg high this time. And exhale, step it through, low lunge. And then this time, right foot hops up, 45 degree angle. And inhaling up to your warrior one. Again, just breathing here, inhaling. And exhale. One more inhale. And then exhale, hands come behind your back, interlacing your fingers. And again, opening up through your chest here. So pulling your fist down towards the ground, gaze walks up towards the ceiling. And breathing. Inhaling. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And then exhale, fold forward, humble warrior. So left shoulder to the inside of the left knee this time or towards that left knee. Just finding this fold. Again, letting your head hang here. Take another breath here, inhaling. And exhale, release that bind. Right foot hops forward, coming into our pyramid. So both toes point towards the top of your mat and inhale, halfway lift. And again, stay here if this feels good in your body today or exhale, folding forward any amount. Keeping that soft bend in your left knee, protecting your hamstring. You don't want to overstretch your hamstring. Breathing here, inhaling. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. And then hands come to hips, inhaling up to that halfway lift. And again, walk your toes to the edge of your mat. Still here this time. And come into your wide-legged forward fold. Breathing here. Maybe you find some movement this time, maybe shifting onto your right foot, your left, stretching into your inner thigh a bit more. If you have an inversion in your practice, you could play around with that here. Or keeping your feet on the ground, getting all the benefits of an inversion with your head below your heart here, with your feet never leaving the ground. We'll take another breath here. And then again, coming out of it just by walking your palms forward, setting up for a runner's lunge on the left side. The left foot toe heels out to the edge of your mat. And again, staying lifted if you would like. Or dropping that right knee, untucking your toes. Coming into your runner's lunge. Again, staying on your palms, dropping to elbows or ground. Maybe you have a block nearby. It's a good option here. We'll take two more breaths here on this side. Using your breath as a tool. And then hands plant once more, toes tuck under, coming back downward facing dog. Taking a breath here, inhaling. And exhale, gaze towards your hands, travel top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, arms reach high, gaze is up. And exhale, hands to head center. Getting one more big movement here before we slow down our practice even more. Inhaling, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands coming into your high plank. You hold it here for an inhale. And an exhale. One more inhale. And then exhale, lowering all the way to your mat, maybe dropping the knees, maybe staying on toes, coming down to your belly. And then taking in both of your palms, stacking them one on top of another, resting your forehead on your palms, finding crocodile. And so staying here in crocodile, if that is serving you, or you could find sphinx pose. So coming up onto your forearms, pressing your palms into the ground, you're on your elbows, your forearms, and then reaching your chest and your gaze forward. Same pose, just one is a little more accessible in backs and spines. So just checking in with where you're, where you're at today, finding the version that serves you. If you're feeling some tension in your lower back, just taking your feet a bit further apart on your mat might help with that. Wherever you're at, just letting your hips be heavy. Coming back to your breath. We'll take two more breaths here. And then we'll all meet in crocodile, placing your hands on top of your stacked palms and then bending your knees, just windshield wiping your knees side to side. And releasing that, hands come under your shoulders, coming up to high plank or tabletop and back downward facing dog. And take a breath here, inhaling. And exhale. Inhale, right leg reaches high once more. And exhale, right ankle towards left wrist. So coming into half pigeon. And so checking in how this feels in your body today. If this doesn't feel good in your hips and knees, the supine version on your back, so supine figure four, also available. So just crossing that right ankle over the left knee. Checking in with what you need today. If you found your puffed up pigeon, taking a breath here. And then again, staying here, maybe walking forward, coming into sleeping pigeon. We have some time here tonight. So really taking your time to find your full expression, letting your body fully adjust, just pop in. You come into your sleeping pigeon. I really like to stack my fists under my forehead um, just to get a little more grounded here. Let me release a bit more in my hips. Wherever you're at, really using your breath here. Using the inhales to bring awareness to anything that's coming up for you. And using the exhales to maybe let go, to soften just a bit more. Take three more breaths on this side. And then coming out of this pose gently, placing your palms 
onto your mat, tucking those left toes under and coming back down, rotating that. And then taking that paddle through your feet, letting that go. It might feel real tight. That's normal. And then whenever you're ready, inhaling the left leg high. And exhale, left ankle towards right wrist. So setting up for half pigeon on this side. And we'll take a moment in our puffed up version. Breathing here. Inhaling. And then exhale, fold forward, coming into your sleeping pigeon. Just noticing where you're holding on, where you're gripping. And then using that exhale, the wet pulled just a bit. And we'll only be here for three more breaths. Maybe you use those breaths to go a bit deeper. Maybe begin to back out. Taking one more breath here. And this time coming up just by rolling off onto that left hip and planting your feet in front of you at the top of your mat. And we're just going to take the knees side to side again, letting that go, giving your glutes a little massage on the ground. And then just rooting your feet into the ground, maybe scooting your hips a bit closer to your heels. We're just gonna make our way down onto our backs. So taking your time, coming onto your mat, bringing your knees in towards your chest, and then just taking a rock side to side. Maybe drawing circles on the ceiling with your knees, giving your lower back a massage this time. And squeezing both knees into the chest, keeping your right knee into the chest, extend your left leg long. I'm gonna find our supine twist. So left knee is gonna come, or right knee is gonna come over the left side of your body. Just taking a moment to stack your hips, make sure they're one on top of another. You don't wanna twist into the lower back. And then maybe your hands come out at a T, and gaze me up or over those right fingers. Just beginning to let go here. Not much left to do in our practice. We'll take another breath here on this side. And then rolling back to center, both knees come in towards your chest. And then this time, just keeping that left knee and extend the right leg long on the mat and taking the twist to the right side. Remembering to breathe. Taking one more breath here. And then again, rolling back to center knees, come in towards your chest. Again, giving them that rock side to side. And just plant your feet. We're gonna find bridge pose. So feet are hip width distance apart and just checking in like your middle finger should pretty much graze the back of your heel. And we'll just lift the hips high. Your hands can stay planted here, or maybe you find that bind 
rolling your shoulders a bit under, opening up a bit further. Taking a couple of breaths here. One more breath, inhaling. And then exhaling, letting go of any bind, bringing your hips back down towards the ground. Again, knees come in towards your chest, giving them that rock side to side. And then soles of feet are going to touch, finding our bound ankle pose, supine bound ankle pose. So soles of feet touch, knees come wide. Maybe you place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Just coming back into your breath here. Feeling your hands rise on the inhale. And fall on the exhale. And then you're welcome to stay right here if this serves you for your final resting pose or finding our traditional Shavasana by straightening your legs, taking arms alongside your body. Coming into Shavasana. And this pose right here is said to be the most important pose of our practice. We move through our asana practice, finding our physical movement, all so that we can shift energy, release what we're holding on to, and to come into this stillness right here. We have a few minutes here tonight. I will watch the time and guide you out as we're ready. Beginning to bring some awareness back into your body. You're wiggling fingers and toes. Rolling wrists and ankles. And maybe bringing your arms overhead, reaching long in your body, taking a full body stretch. So if you're just waking up for the day, 
and then rolling off to whichever side is calling to you, bringing your knees towards your chest, resting your head on your arm, just taking a moment to pause here. I'll be taking this pause before we end our practice, before we go on with our evening. Taking another breath here in this pause. And then as you're ready, coming back to the seated position, if you can, keeping your eyes closed, really holding in this energy that you've created for yourself tonight. Perhaps resting your hands on your knees. Or if it calls to you, bringing your hands to heart center, bowing your head slightly towards your heart in gratitude. Gratitude to yourself for showing up to your practice today. Gratitude to your body for carrying you through your practice. As always, we'll close with the salutation of namaste, which means the light and teacher in me sees and honors the light and teacher in each of you. Namaste. Thank you all so much. I'm really sorry. I don't know what happened with my connection, but thank you for sticking around. Aubrey, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, that was a great practice. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed it. And I just realized I didn't include our website. So I'm doing that right now. <laughs> All right. So Aubrey will be with us um, for our August and September class. Mm -hmm. So be on the look like look out for her and then come October we'll have a whole new lineup for our winter our I'm sorry fall winter classes. So I just want to say thank you again everybody for attending tonight's class, thank you Aubrey for hosting and on behalf of whole foods co op have a wonderful rest of your evening and take care. Mm -hmm. Thanks everyone bye.